Hey guys, it's Mia and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally opening my new box of art supplies for blocks three and four of the Evolve program. And I was able to order my new box when I was halfway through block two. I had to go on my desktop computer and order it. I couldn't do it on my cell phone. But anyway, I can't remember exactly how long it took for the new box to arrive, but it was pretty fast, especially when you consider the package was sent from Texas and came all the way up here to Canada. Even though I received my new box early, I told myself that I was not going to open it until I finished block two. And being able to open a box full of new art supplies that had different colored paints it just made me more determined to finish up block two. So during that time, this box just sat on a shelf for many weeks, but today is finally the day I get to open it. So let's get started. I have a new set of old Holland brushes that I'm really excited about because my current set is looking a bit rough. And there's also another set of brushes from Simply Simmons. These brushes look smaller than the old Holland set, so I'm wondering if these will be used for adding details. And the Simply Simmons set also has two fan brushes that I'm looking forward to learning how to use. Okay, so let's see what we have wrapped in here. Huh, it's empty. Oh well, I'll give it to the cats to play with. All right, so let's start opening up the boxes to see what different colored paints we have. And these are all Old Holland, by the way. So we have a 125 ml tube of titanium white. The other tubes of paint are smaller, I think 37 to 40 mLs. But let's look at the colors we have. Light yellow, light red, crimson, ultramarine blue, light blue, permanent green deep, yellow green, which is my favorite color so far, two tubes of Naples yellow, English red, burnt umber, and Mars black. Next is this gray tone disposable paper palette, which I really like. It makes cleanup quick and easy. I have eight tinted canvas sheets, and I actually like tinted canvas, and I think Frederick sells tinted sheets, but you would have to find it in a fine art store because you won't see it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. But I used to paint my canvases gray, but then I got bored and switched over to other colors like pink, vermilion, and blue. However, a gray canvas kind of serves as a mid-tone color and it helps with placement of dark and light values, so it's good for that. And speaking of Fredericks, we have two pads of canvas sheets. Each pad contains 10 sheets and these are not gray, they're white, but that's okay. Now, let's take a look at these reference images. Some of these are in color and some are in black and white. Overall, the images are very high quality. I've seen a lot of these images painted by other Evolve students, and they did very amazing jobs. Eventually, I'll get to that level where my paintings really start to look professional. In the meantime, several of these images I'm really looking forward to painting, especially the wooden rabbit and the cheesecake. If you want to know more about all of the supplies used in Evolve for blocks 1 through 4, make sure you visit Evolve's YouTube page. There's actually a video explaining in detail about the products and why they were selected. I'll link that video in the description. That's it, you guys. I'm getting ready to start my first assignment for block three, and I'm going to take some very good notes. I think I'm okay with color, but I definitely know I can do better, so I'm looking forward to improving. But one more thing, I actually have some old oil paintings I did when I was learning from different artists on YouTube and my goal is to finish block three and compare my paintings from that block to my oil paintings before Evolve. 
that'll be a while from now, but that's just one of my goals once I'm finished with Block 3. But anyway, you guys, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye!